Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well on this Saturday afternoon or whenever you're watching. We're going to get back to a project we put on hold because we had so many projects. But we completed two, you know, we completed our 1978 one and done baseball tournament using Out of the Ballpark. And we completed our 1980 one and done football tournament using Action PC football we're continuing with our boxing tournament we'll have a fight coming up in pretty soon and now we're going to get back to our denny mclean bob gibson challenge the year of the pitcher denny mclean in 1968 the year of the pitcher was 31 and 6 with an era of 1.96 striking out 280 bob gibson was 22 and 9 with a 1.12 striking out 268 they will take on the 12 best ml B teams that I deemed from 2017 in the Denny McLean Bob Gibson Challenge. We are almost halfway through as Denny McLean will be starting his 12th game in our 24 game series against the Arizona Diamondbacks and Robbie Ray. It will not be Zant Granke as Granke got wrecked both times in both games against the uh, in, in game one of the series. Um, all of the first 12 games, this is the only, we're, yeah, we've already, this is the 13th game, excuse me, uh, start for Denny McLean. In the first 12 games, they were all played on the road. And now all these final 12 games will be played at home for the Tigers, obviously, in Detroit and for St. Louis in St. Louis. So let's give you the starting lineups and roll some dice. In the chat here at the stadium, I see the original Grognard. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. He has some snow out there. Stay safe. We have Alan Shaw from across the pond. How you doing, my friend? All right. For the Arizona Diamondbacks, leading off, playing center field, is A.J. Pollock. And in 2017 was 266, 14 homers, and 49 ribbies. Batting second, playing right field for the Diamondbacks, David Peralta, 293, 14 homers, and 57 ribbies. Batting third. Paul Goldschmidt, 297, 36 homers, drove in 120 runners. As Farm One has joined us also, he says McLean made some bad decisions off the field. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I do not know why the player cards are not popping up as I'm looking over on my second screen. So they're popping up on OBS, but, you know, the thank you OBS for foobarring me. They should be popping up here. But you're not seeing them. Okay. Let's just refresh that. Batting fourth, playing third base, Jake Lamb. 248, 30 homers, 105 runners knocked in. Moni G, how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. To our good now it's now it's working. Wow, is that way behind? Alright. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Yasmani Thomas, 241, eight homers, 32 ribbies. Batting sixth, the shortstop, Chris Owens, 268, 12 home runs, and 51 runners knocked in. Batting 
batting seventh. I think I messed up the lineup <laughs> in the numbers. Brandon Drury, say that ten times fast, 267, 13 homers, 63 runners knocked in. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, Daniel Descalso, 233, 10 homers, 51 runners knocked in. And batting ninth, doing the catching, is Chris Herman, 181, 10 homers, 27 runners knocked in. On the mound for the Detroit Tigers is Denny McLean. And in 1931, Denny McLean, probably the last man in the history of Major League Baseball to ever win 31 game, 30 games or more, won 31, lost 6 with an ERA 1.96, striking out 280, though he did give up 31 gopher balls. In our replay, and let me make sure, he's had 12 starts. I think he had one no decision. Let me go back to the Denny McLean card here. Stats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a no decision. Yep. Yeah. So this is his thirteenth start. Denny McLean is seven and four with a three point two nine earned run average. He's thrown ninety eight innings, given up eighty four hits, walked thirteen, struck out. 100, but he's given up 14 gopher balls. So it'll be Denny McLean on the mound. And he'll face A.J. Pollock. Pollock in our replay is batting 500 with a home run and a ribby. And here's the first roll. And that is a 5-6. 5 6 five, Six off the McLean card. Swing and a miss. That's the hundred and first strikeout for Denny McLean in our project. One away. That'll bring up David Peralta. Peralta batting two fifty. No homers, one ribby. Three hand sets the target. Here's the pitch for McLean, and that is a four. Four. Someone's gonna be showing the door in a four four. And this will be a play for the catcher freehand. And we rolled a 13. So that's an F.O. And now let's roll these dice again. That's a 9. So freehand will make the play. On the pop-up. And that's 2 down. Base is empty for the power-hitting first baseman. Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt, 444. In the project, one homer, three ribbies. McLean looks in. The windup and the pitch to Goldschmidt, looking to hit gold. And that is a 3-5. Three, 3-5 five. Three, five to Goldschmidt. Swing and a miss. Strike three at the knee cheese. So McLean strikes out two. We go to the bottom of the first. Scoreless. Let's give you the Detroit Tigers lineup. Moni G is a big Detroit Ch Tigers fan. And D. Scott Howard is joining us. As he asked Devin, how deep is your snow, Devin? It has missed us up here in Billingham so far only 0.25 inches. Devin's got over six, I think. Farm 1 gives us, a, I believe, a basketball update from college. Syracuse 24, Boston College 21 at the half. Kentucky is up on Mississippi, or Mississippi State, but they were rallying. I was watching a little bit of that when my internet connection wouldn't work. So we're starting the game a little late. And then my father, it was really cool. My father wanted to play a little uh, Stratomatic Dice baseball, so we pulled it on the kitchen table. We played three innings. Had lunch with him, and we'll finish at a later date. So that was fun. All right, corners playing in, but let's get to the Detroit Tigers lineup. Playing center field, leading off Mickey Stanley. In 68, 259, 11 homers, 60 ribbies. Batting second, the right fielder, Al Kaline, 287, 10 homers, 52 runners knocked in. Batting third, the left fielder, Willie Horton, 285, 36 round trippers, 85 runners knocked in. 
The cleanup hitter doing the catching is Bill Freehand. 263, 25 homers, 84 runners driven in. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Norm Cash. 263, 25 home runs, 63 ribbies. Batting sixth, the de designated hitter, Jim Northrup. 264, 21 home runs, 90 RBI. <clears throat> Batting seventh, the second baseman, Dick McCullough, 249, 16 homers, 56 runners knocked in. And here come the two punch and Judy hitters. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Don Wirt, 200, 12 homers, 37 RBI. And batting ninth, the shortstop, Ray Euler. 135, one home run, and 12 ribbies. <clears throat> McCullough has been slumping in this project, thus batting seventh. So Mickey Stanley comes up first. And Mickey Stanley's batting 288 in the project, two homers, and four ribbies. He'll be facing, oh, again, forgot to, uh, and we'll roll the dice. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. And that's going to be a 511. A 511 off the Robbie Ray card. 511. Oh, that's. Oh, boy. We messed that up, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're just going to undo. Let's just hit select. And we're just going to undo that. Yeah. That's a deep fly ball. It's not going to count. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not. Now Red Sox may want to click on the Robbie Ray card. He clicked on the other thing. So that home run will not count. As we will hit the good old undo last play. Yes. All right. Let's click on the Robbie Ray card. So we'll, that was like a little batting practice. Robbie Ray was 15-5 and five with a 2.89 in 28 starts. Striking out 218. He gave up 23 home runs. Around the horn, Goldschmidt at first, Drury at second, Owens at short, Lamb at third, Tom, Thomas in left, Pollock in center, and Peralta in right. Fred Stanley now gets into the batter's box. Here's the pitch to Stanley, and that is a 1-8. A 1-8 off the Stanley card, 1-8. That's a ground ball to Owens. Over to Goldschmidt, one away. Bring up Al Kaline, batting 311 with two homers and six ribbies. Her man sets the target. Here's the pitch to Kaline, and that is a 312 off the Kaline card. 312. And Kaline works a walk with one out. So K-Line's at first, 70% chance of stealing second, being held on by Goldschmidt. But here comes Willie Horton. Horton batting 239 with three homers and nine ribbies. We're going to let Horton swing away here. The wind-up and the pitch from Robbie Ray. And that is a 1-7. A 1-7 off the Horton card. Swing and a miss, strike three. Blew the high cheese past him. So two outs. Freehand comes to the plate. Bill Freehand in the project, batting 267. No homers, but he's knocked in 10 runners. K-Line's going to take a shot here. K-Line's going to take a shot. 25% chance to get the lead. He gets the lead. He's running. And that's a 20. He's going to be gunned out. So Hermine will throw him out, and the side will be retired. Ouch. We go to the top of the second scoreless. Due up for the Arizona Diamondbacks, Lamb, Thomas, and Owens. Lamb batting 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. He's 0-9. for nine. Danny McLean's ready. He kicks and deals to Lamb. That is a 5-7 off the McLean card. 5-7. Swing and a miss. Good movement on that pitch. Another strikeout for Denny McLean. So one out. 
and Yasmani Thomas steps to the plate. He's batting 500, a homer, and four ribbies. Looking for the 2-4 column. Freehand wiggles the fingers. McLean rocks and fires. And that is a 2-5 to Thomas. 2-5. Swing and a miss. I think I clicked the... I, it should have been a 2-5. What did I do? 5-2? I think I did 5-2, didn't I? Oh, boy. Let's go back to the Thomas card here. 2. Five. No, I did I, a two, five. No, I did it right. I did it right. I did it. No, I did it wrong. That was a two, five. I think I did a five, two. Damn dyslexia. I did a five, two. All right, let's undo that. A Red Sox fan in stellar form today. Let's undo last play. Yep. And it was a 2-5. Man, my dyslexia has been killing me today. It was a 2-5. The beauty of the do-over. The mulligan. Let's get it right this time. 2-5. And that's a double to left. As he splits Horton and Stanley, he'll be standing on second with one out. And... <laughs> The Diamondback fans like that result better, and that was the true result. So one out, Thomas at second. Now bring up Chris Owen. Owings, Owings is one for nine. I'm sorry, is 444 with a double, no homers, no ribbies. McLean peeks over his shoulder. McCulloch tries to keep Thomas close. McLean deals to the plate. And that is a 3-6. Three, 3-6. Six. Three, six. Pick up some sticks on the 3-6. That's going to be a fly ball to Stanley in center. Stanley moving to his right a bit. Makes the catch two away. Retreating back to second is Yasmani Thomas. Stepping to the plate, Brandon Drury. 0 for 9. The wind-up and the pitch from Denny McLean. 5-5. Five, five. Can't mess that one up, even with dyslexia. 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> Strike three looking inside corner. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the second. Still scoreless here in Detroit. Let's go to the chat. <laughs> wow. Thank you, dyslexia, you son of a bitch. All right. Uh... Larry Harris is too early for you to be live, Al. Yeah, usually I go at 3 in the morning. Ron from Metro Sports. Best news I've heard all day. <laughs> D. Scott Howard. Good for your father. My dad, entire family retired. Never could quite figure out what I was doing with the dice, LOL. Well, yeah, my dad, uh, uh, the cable... The inter I had set up, and I was going to roll, and then Ron did a uh, congratulations to Ron Juckett, 200 subscribers. I saw he did a little video, so I didn't go. And I, I went in his chat, and that was a lot of fun. And then I got my dad's lunch ready, and I said, okay, we, we're going to have a little lunch. But then he didn't want to eat lunch. So he said, let's, let's play some baseball. I've been asking him to play for a while, since he's going through his treatments and stuff. And, uh... We played three innings. It was a lot of fun. I'm winning 3 nothing. I'm the 86 Red Sox. He's the 67 Red Sox. Gedman hit a three-run homer off Lombard. So that was fun. So we'll just play that, you know, a little at a time. We also have Bleacher Bums Gaming in the chat. Check him out. All good stuff. And thank you to Larry Harris. Uh, Alan Shaw. Dave Gardner is here. How you doing, my friend? Anthony from Bleacher Bumps said, just doing a drive-by because I have some errands to run. That's all. That's cool. That's cool. All right, back to the ball game. Al has already foobarred about four plays, which we had un well, two we had to unselect. My dyslexia has kicked in three times already. So let's try to get this going. <laughs> Here comes Bill Freehand, 267, no homers, 10 ribbies. He was at the plate when K-Line was thrown out at second. The windup and the pitch from Ray to freehand. 
That is a 6-8, six, 6-8 eight, six, eight off the raid card. And Freehand works a walk. He's at first base. So Freehand's at first. He's not going anywhere. And here comes Norm Cash. Cash struggling a bit, though he has three homers and nine ribbies. His average, 229. Goldschmidt holding on Freehand. Actually, no, he's playing behind him. He's playing behind him. So it looks like the Diamondbacks looking to turn two. Here's the pitch to Norm Cash. And that ball is going to get away from Herman. That's a wild pitch from Ray. Freehand winds up at second. He's in scoring position now for Cash. Can Cash ca cash in? Robbie Ray rocks and fires. And he deals Norm Cash a 1-7. A 1-7. Ground ball to Owens. Owens is up with it. A, over to Goldschmidt. One away. Holding at second is freehand. That wild pitch cost the Diamondbacks a double play ball. And now stepping to the plate, the designated hitter, Jim Northrup. Northrup has struggled. 204, no home runs, and three ribbies. Tigers fans waiting for him to bust out. Freehand takes a lead. Here's the pitch to Northrup. And that is a 5-5. Again, thank you for the 5-5. Dyslexia can't mess that up. 5-5. Five, five. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Northrup's troubles continue. So two outs. Freehand will be off on contact. Brings up another struggling Tigers bat. Dick McCullough. 167. One homer, six ribbies. For the left-handed batting McCullough. And they walk him to get to the even weaker hitter. <laughs> Don Wirt, 0 for 18. His average is 0, 0, 0. So Don Wirt with two outs, two on. Bottom of the second, no score. Let's see what Don Wirt can do. Can Wirt make it hurt? The windup and the pitch from Robbie Ray. The 20-sided die decides to roll way the hell over here. And that's a 1. And that's a 1-7. So it's, you know... That might not even be good because it's on the work card. You probably want the pitcher's card. He's such a bad hitter. One, seven. Ground ball to Owens. He flips to Drury, steps on the bag, and the side is retired for the force out. We go to the top of the third, still scoreless. Bobby Cantalano is in the chat. How are you doing? Hope all is well, my Twitter wife. As Dave Gardner is going to be doing a wrestling stream tonight. Cool. Due up for the Diamondbacks. Descalso. Herman in the top of the order. Pollock. Descalso is old for, uh, is batting 200. No homers. No ribbies. Danny McLean's ready to work. He deals to Descalso. And that is a 2-2. Two, two. How do you do on the 2-2? Two, two? And that's going to be a single to left as Descalso goes the other way. And he is a tremendous threat of stealing. 90% chance if he gets the jump. We're holding him on. I'm assuming he's going to go. He can't get the lead. Good job by McLean and Cash holding him. And now his steal percentage goes down to 10%. Euler and McCullough hoping to turn two up the middle. And here's the catcher, Chris Herman. He's batting 250, no home runs, no ribbies. McLean looking for a double play ball. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch to his counterpart, Herman. And that is a 6-10 off the Denny McLean card. 6-10. Ground ball to shorten, shorten Euler, and that's a two. Euler will not make the play. That's going to be a single, and the runner will advance to third, it looks like, and we roll for the error check now, as that is a 10, no error, but it'll be first and third, as Euler makes a dive at it, but it gets by him into left, and Descalso, I thought there was two bases, but it's not. First and second. So no outs. First and second. Top of the order. A.J. Pollock. He struck out in his first plate appearance. 
McLean has to bear down here. He kicks and deals to Pollock. And that is a 6-5. 6 Five. Denny McLean hoping to poke him in the eye. Fly ball out to right. And now K-Line. K-Line drifting back, drifting back, drifting back. Reaches up and makes the catch. And tagging is Descalso from third. Here comes the throw from Al K-Line. And that's a 12. I don't think that's going to be good enough. And Descalso gets in ahead of the K-Line throw. So runners on the corners, one out. Herman definitely a threat to steal if he gets a jump. 90% chance of stealing. And stepping to the plate is Johnny Peralta. He fouled out to the catcher in his first plate appearance. Let's see if Herman will go. And that Denny McLean picks off Herman, whose happy feet just got him a trip back to the pine. As he heads back to the dugout, shaking his head. Oh, the slow-footed catcher really wanted to go. Obviously, a good base stealer in 2017 with a 90% chance. But Denny McLean picks him off as he points to the bench and says, Go grab some pine, son. And while you're there, drink some pine salt. Ooh, that was rough by Denny McLean. So two outs. Descalso is still at third. It's up to Johnny Peralta now to knock him in. Again, Peralta popped out to the catcher. Here's the pitch to Peralta from Denny McLean. And that is a 2-6. Off the Peralta card. 2-6. Pick up some sticks. What he'll do is put the lumber down and take a walk down to first. McLean walks him. Two outs. Runners on the corners. Peralta's at first. Descalso is at third. No score. Top of the third. And here comes Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt struck out in his first plate appearance. Remember, he had 36 round trippers in 2017. Looking for that 2-4 column. Denny McLean looking for a second K of the big Goldschmidt. Freehand wiggles the fingers. Here's the pitch to Goldschmidt. And that is a 4-12 a off the Denny McLean card. And Goldschmidt has an opportunity here. 4-12. Ground ball to Norm Cash at first. We rolled a 16. Cash comes up with it. He'll be throwing to Denny McLean, who's covering the bag. That's a 9. Uh, an 11, excuse me. McLean makes the play at first on the low throw, and the side is retired. The Diamondback strand 2. We go to the bottom of the third, scoreless. Due up, punch and Judy hitter number two, Ray Euler, then Stanley and K-Line. Ray Euler, batting .071, no homers, no ribbies. He is an A-bunter, though. So he's going to try to drop down a bunt here. Bunt for a hit. Here's the pitch. Here comes a drag bunt. Herman fields it. Fires the first. And they just get him. Nice stretch by Goldschmidt. One away. Top of the order. Mickey Stanley. He grounded out in his first plate appearance. Corners are in to protect against the bunt now. But Stanley's not bunting. Here's the pitch. From Ray to Stanley. And that is a... 3-9, 3-9 off the Stanley card, 3-9, ground ball, left side, Owens backhands it, fires to Goldschmidt, two down, so two outs, base is empty, here comes Al Kaline, he walked in his first plate appearance and was thrown out trying to steal a second, Kaline has hit two home runs in this project, looking for the 2-1 column. Herman sets the target. Here's the pitch to K-Line. And that is a 2-8. A 2-8 to K-Line. A 2. And that's a column of choice. Will he grip and rip with two outs? 2-8. Two nope. He's very patient. He walks again. Inside pitch misses. So K-Line once again is at first base. And here's Willie Horton. Horton struck out in his first plate appearance. Ray looks to Goldschmidt, who's holding on K-line. 70% chance of stealing. Here's the pitch! And it 
that's another wild pitch. And advancing to second is K-Line. He's in scoring position with two outs, so he's going to need a couple extra steps. So Willie Horton has a duck out on that pond. 0 for 1. Ray nods his head. Herman sets the target. Here's the pitch to Willie Horton. And that is a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven, four, seven to Horton. Off the Ray card. Swing and a miss on the curveball. K-Line stranded at second. We go to the top of the fourth, still scoreless. Back up on the bump is Denny McLean. McLean has gone three innings so far. Walked one, struck out four. Giving up three hits. He will face Lamb, Thomas, and Owens. Jake Lamb struck out in his first plate appearance. Lefty digs in. Awaits the Denny McLean offering. Here's the pitch homeward bound. And that is a 1-5. A 1-5. Lamb's going to see a pitch to grip and rip on the 1-5. Can he take advantage of it? One five seventeen. Lamb crushes his ball right center field. Stanley racing back. It's going to be over his head. And it's just off the wall. Lamb just missed a homer. He winds up at second with no outs. Denny McLean has given up 14 home runs. Almost gave up his 15th. And here come the Diamondbacks. Lamb, 1 through 13, base runner at second. And here comes Yasmani Thomas. He doubled in his first plate appearance. If he does it again, it's a 1 nothing lead for the Diamondbacks. Danny McLean takes a deep breath, arms down to his chest. He kicks and fires to Thomas. And that is a 6 8 off the McLean card. 6 8. Line shot to the Leaping Oiler. He makes the catch at short. Quickly scrambling back. Diving into second is Lamb. One out. Now bring up the shortstop Chris Owens. He flew out in his first plate appearance. Owens looking for the 1-4. McLean's ready to work. He deals to Owens. And that is a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven off the Denny McLean card. 5. I think that's a column of death for batters. 5-7. And it is. Strike three, looking inside corner, painted it with the fastball, two down. And stepping the plate is Brandon Drury. The second baseman struck out. McLean looking for another strikeout here. Lamb takes his lead at second. Here's the pitch to Drury. And that is a three, four. Off the Drury card, three, four. McLean hoping to shut the door on the three, four. That's a hard hit ball. 20 sided dies at 12. As that ball is going out, sinking line drive, making the diving catch in shallow left center is Stanley. And the side is retired. The Diamondbacks strand a runner at second. We go to the bottom of the fourth, still scoreless. Lost knowledge is at the ballpark. How you doing, my friend? Thank you for stopping by. So for the Tigers, it'll be freehand cash and Northrup. Freehand walked his first time up to face Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray has gone <clears throat> three innings. No, ooh, wow, no hits. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Four walks and three strikeouts. He will deal to Bill Freehand. Here's the pitch from Ray to Freehand. 4-10 off the Robbie Ray card. 4-10. Ground ball to Owens at short, and it's an 8. And he is not very good range, so this is going to be a range play as it's a G3 number sign. We don't know if he makes the play yet. Let's roll for the error check. And that is a 15. He's going to boot the ball, folks. Owens throws low. Gets away from Goldschmidt. That is an E6. No hitter still intact, though. So free hands on with no outs. 
And here comes Norm Cash. He grounded out in his first plate appearance. Cash looking for the 3 6 column. Here's the pitch to Cash from Robbie Ray. And that's a 2 4 off the Cash card. 2 4. Ground ball to Lamb. Lamb over to Drury on to Goldschmidt. Double play. Bases are empty. Scoring at home 5-4-3. to four to three. So with two outs and no one on, he'll bring up Jim Northrup, the struggling Jim Northrup, batting 200. No homers, three ribbies. And he struck out in his first plate appearance. Left-handed batter digs in. Ray picks up the sign from Herman. Here's the pitch to Northrup. And that is a 3-4 off the Northrup card. 3-4 for the lefty. Ground ball. First base. Goldschmidt backhands it. Races to the bag and steps on it. The side is retired. We go to the top of the fifth. Scoreless in this pitcher's duel at Tiger Stadium. Due up to face Denny McLean will be Descalso, Herman, and Pollock. Descalso single in his first plate appearance. Left-handed batter. Looking for the 1-4 column. Here's the pitch for McLean. And that is a 1-8. A 1-8, and that is a column of choice. So Dascalso, will he take advantage of a pitch to grip and rip? 1-8. Does not chase the high fastball. He walks. Dascalso, threat of stealing, being held on by Cash at first. Now bring up the catcher, Chris Herman. He singled in his first plate appearance. Will Dascalso go? He can't get the lead. So once again, a good job by McLean and Cash. Full attention goes to Herman at the plate. Here's the pitch to the Arizona catcher, and that is a 5-8. A 5-8, and that is not a good column if you're a batter off the Denny McLean card. 5-8. Ground ball to second possible double play. 20-sided dies a 13. That's a G1. If they can complete the turn, the throw to first, it's a double play, and that's an 11. So that's going to go McCullough. To Euler, to Cash, double play. Two outs, base is empty. And striding the plate to center fielder, A.J. Pollock. Pollock is 0 for 2. He has struck out and flown out right-handed batter. Pollock had 14 home runs in 2017, so one swing of the bat, he has that potential. McLean picks up the sign from freehand. Here's the pitch to Pollock, and that's a 1, that's a, sorry, a 6-7. A 6-7 off the Denny McLean card. 6-7. Fly ball out to center field. Mickey Stanley coming in, coming in, coming in. He makes the catch. The side is retired. Denny McLean does his J-O-B. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Robbie Ray back up on the mound. He has not given up a hit yet through four. He will face McCullough, Wirt, and Euler. The last two tremendous punch and Judy hitters. McCullough walked in his first plate appearance, left-handed batter. Here's the pitch from Robbie Ray to Dick McCullough. 2-6 to McCullough. Column of choice. He's going to see a pitch to grip and rip on the 2-6. And that's a 9 on the 20 side to die on the split. That is a crush shot. Center field, Pollock racing back, he leaps, he's not going to get there, hits the wall, rattles around. McLean races around second, heading for third. A 40% chance of an inside the park home run with two punch and Judy hitters coming up. Oh God, I want to go for the inside the park home run. But I'm not going to, we will hold them up. So he triples to lead off the inning. Infield moves in. So Arizona not willing to give up the run. And we have punch and Judy hitter number one coming up. And that's Don Wirt. And he is an A bunter. Infield is in. Let's just look at a squeeze. Oh, they're not going to give us the percentage. Though a single with Wirt. 11.9%, walk 7.4. But making it out is a bigger percentage. Yeah, we know that. You know what? We're gonna we're not gonna I was gonna go safety squeeze. We're not gonna do that. 
Infield's in. Let's see if Don Work can smack it past the drown in infield. He needs a six or a three column. McCullough's at third. No outs. Infield in for the Diamondbacks. The windup and the pitch from Robbie Ray to Don Work trying to make it hurt. And that is a 1-9 off the work card. It's probably going to hurt him. It's off his card. 1-9. He can't even make contact. Strike three looking on the inside pitch. One away. Maybe we should have went for the infield uh, the, in the park homer. So one out and punching Judy hitter number two. Ray Euler comes up. Euler batting point zero six seven. He is an A bunter. On deck is Stanley. Infield in. Can Euler knock it past the drown in infield? Herman wiggles the fingers. The wind up and the pitch to Ray Euler. And I think I moved that. I'm going to re-roll that. It's 14. So that is a 5-12. 5, 12. five 12 off the Robbie Ray card. Ground ball, second base. And that's a 14. That's a G2. That might, actually with infield in, that might be by them. We roll for the error check. 6. No error, but this might this might be a hit. Ground ball, right side. And Drury goes to the plate. Herman applies the tag. The run does not score. So a race at the plate is Don McCullough. At first on the field, his choice is Euler. So two outs, Oilers at first, top of the order. Mickey Stanley, I probably should have went for the inside the park homer. Here's the pitch to Mickey Stanley. He's grounded out twice. And that is a 310 off the Stanley card. Not a column of choice, though, 310 from Robbie Ray. Ground ball to Lamb. Lamb throws across the diamond, and the side is retired. The leadoff triple goes for not. As McCullough is erased at the plate on the infield in, we go to the top of the sixth. No score here in Detroit. Due up for the Diamondbacks. Peralta, Goldschmidt, and Lamb to face Danny McLean. Danny McLean has gone five innings, four hits, two walks, five Ks. Peralta has popped out and walked. Left-handed batter. Good pop in the bat. Here's the pitch from McLean to Peralta. And that is a 4-5. Column of choice for Peralta. 4-5. He's going to see a pitch to grip and rip. 4-5. 4-5. 14. On the split. That's going to be a well-hit ball. As he crushes his Denny McLean offering right center field. No one's going to get there. It's just a question. Is it going to stay in? It does. It hits off the wall. And cruising into second with a leadoff double is Peralta. So Denny McLean could have easily given up two gopher balls. But he's given up uh, quite a few doubles today. And it'll bring up another power hitter, Paul Goldschmidt, who knocked out 36 in 2017. He's 0 for 2. He struck out and grounded out. Peralta, 1 through 14 base runner. Here's the pitch to Goldschmidt. McLean deals Goldschmidt a 3-7. A 3-7 off the Goldschmidt card, though not a column of choice. Goldschmidt hits the ball hard down the first baseline. Cash has it. Throws to McLean covering the bag. Peralta advances to third. And now the Tigers will bring the infield in. Here comes Jake Lamb. I don't know if I want to play the infield in. I don't know. I might play normal. Might play normal. Lamb one for two. He has doubled and struck out. No, we'll keep the infield in. We'll listen to our bench coach. Left-handed power bat, Jake Lamb. He awaits the Denny McLean offering. He's looking for the 1-4 column. Here's the pitch from Denny McLean. And he gets a 4 column and a 5. So he's going to see a pitch he can drive. So that is a Four column and a five. Does McLean ser serve up a gopher ball? And a six on the split. And 
and boom goes the ball. Jake Lamb will touch them all. Infield in. Who cares? Jake Lamb just mashes one out to right center field, and it is two to nothing. Arizona. That is the 15th home run Denny McLean has given up. Even with his 31 wins and his below two ERA in 1968, he did give up 31 gopher balls. Let's look at that card once again. He gave up 31 home runs, and that's pretty much on pace. And that was a full season. We're only playing 24 games against the best teams of 2017, as I deemed them. And he's given up 15 gopher balls, and it's 2 to nothing. And the home run ball has haunted Denny McLean. So with one out, base is empty. Yasmani Thomas steps up. He is doubled and lined out. Here's the pitch to Thomas. And that is a 3-7. Three, 3-7 seven. Three, seven. Denny McLean comes right back. Strike three looking. Off-speed pitch inside corner. So two outs. Two nothing. Top of the six, shortstop, Chris Owen steps to the plate. He's 0 for 2. He's flown out and struck out. McLean still miffed at himself for giving up his 15th gopher ball of the project. Rocks and fires. And that is a 1-3. What will it be? We shall see. It's a pitch that Owens can grip and rip. 1-3, comma, choice. Split is 16. On the 20 side to die. Ground ball to work. He's up with it. He throws the cash and the side is retired. But Denny McLean gives up his 15th homer. And the Arizona Diamondbacks take a 2-0 lead. Due up for the Tigers now trailing by 2 in the bottom of the 6. K-line Horton and freehand. Al K-line has walked twice. No official at bat. Caught stealing. Here's the pitch from Robbie Ray to Al K-line. And that is a 1-11 to K-line. Column of choice. So he's going to see a pitch to grip and rip. 1-11. But he pops it up to the catcher. And that's out number one. As Herman caught the ball in one hand. And had the mask in the other. Willie Horton steps to the plate. He's 0 for 2. He struck out twice. He doesn't want the hat trick. Here's the pitch to Horton. And that's a 2-6 to Willie Horton. Two, six, off the Horton card. Not a column of choice, though. Horton smashes this ball right back past the pitcher into center field. So Willie Horton is on with his first hit. Tying run comes to the plate. The catcher, Bill Freehand. Freehand has no homers in the project but 10 ribbies. In actuality, 25 home runs. He's looking for the two or six column. He really would like that two column to tie it up. Ray looking for the double play ball, and the white die has jumped the shark, you little son of a bee. But the white die does not go far, because we have a tracking device on that little bastard, and we have retrieved him. No, 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 I don't. Yes, I want a cookie. You get a cookie later. All right, here's the pitch to Freehand, and that is a 6-5. Column of choice for Freehand. That's not a good column for Robbie Ray. Off his card, 6 Five. Let's see what Freehand can do with this pitch. Boom goes the ball. We have a tie ball game. It's a 10 split. And Freehand crushes that Robbie Ray offering. Left field. Thomas just turns and looks. Bye bye birdie. 2-2. Two, two. As the crowd goes nuts here in Detroit. The fireworks go off. And we have a 2-2 two, two ball game. As Robbie Ray hangs his head in shame. Now bring up Norm Cash. The Cash, the first baseman, is 0 for 2. He is grounded out and banged into a double play. Cash looking for the 3-6 column. Will they go back-to-back -back jacks? We shall see. Here's the pitch. And that is a 3-6 to Cash. Column of choice. So Cash is going to see a pitch to grip and rip on the 3-6. It's a 10 split. And Norm Cash is going to crush this ball. 
Center field, Pollock on his horse. He's not going to get there. It's going to get down and grab some wall. And Cash has a chance to turn it into three, one through seven chance. We will hold Cash up at second, though. And Robbie Ray has been beaten like a pinata and coming apart at the seams here. He is tired. Now let's see who's going to come in as I do not control the Diamondbacks. Here comes Jim Northrup. And out goes Robbie Ray. It will be Randall Delgado. And in 2017, Randall Delgado was one win, two losses, with one save, 3.59. Struck out 60, walked 14, gave up six home runs. He'll face Northrop. Delgado is a righty. Northrop likes to hit off righties, though he hasn't hit much. He's batting 196, no homers, three ribbies. Go ahead, run at second, 2-2 two -two ball game, one out. Delgado done with his warm-up tosses. He deals to Northrup. And that is a 5-7, five, 5-7 seven, five, seven off the Delgado card. 5-7. Ground ball to Drury at second. 5. And that's going to get through. We roll to see if there's any error on the return throw. That's a seven, no error. So that's a single for Northrop. Let's see if it's going to be enough to score the runner. Single past the dive of Drury into right field. Cash takes third as Peralta comes charging in. And it'll be first and third. They don't wave Cash around, one through 12 runner. So first and third with Dick McCullough. He has tripled, and he was stranded at third. A leadoff triple, and then we have the Punch and Judy hitters, Wirt and Euler. And we had a chance to go for an inside park home run. We didn't. Corners are playing in with one out to protect against a bunt, but they're hoping to turn two up the middle with Owens and Drury. McCullough's going to swing away with the corners in. Can he knock it past the drawn-in infielders? Here's the pitch from Delgado to McCullough. And that is a 1-8. McCullough hoping for it to be great on the 1-8. Not a column of choice, though. 1-8. See if it's enough to knock in a run. Ground ball to first B. Goldschmidt has it. And scoring. No, no, no. With the corners in. Cash. Northrup. Who's out? What happened here? 2-2. Two, two. So the runner's out at the plate. The runner is out at the plate. Goldschmidt went to the plate. It stays 2-2 two, two with two outs. Northrop's at second. McCullough is at first. As it's a fielder's choice. Nice play by Goldschmidt. As he threw out. Cash at the plate. Cash is out. Bang, bang play. Now I'll bring up. Punch and Judy hitter number one, Don Wirt. He is grounded out and struck out. Two on, two outs, 2-2 two, two ball game. The wind up and the pitch from Delgado to Wirt. It's quite painful to watch Don Wirt's swing at the plate. That is a 6-8. Column of choice for the weak hitting Don Wirt. 6-8. Will it be great for Don Wirt? We shall see. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. High fastball, blew it right by him. But the Tigers tie it up on the two-run homer. We go to the top of the seventh, 2-2. Two -two. Due up for the Diamondbacks, the bottom third, Drury. Then Descalso and Herman. Drury is 0 for 2. He struck out and popped out. Danny McLean bearing down here. Here's the pitch to Drury. And that is a 3-6 off the Drury card. 3-6, not a column of choice, though. 3-6. Pick up some sticks on 3-6. He's not going to pick up anything. But you know what he'll do? Strike three looking. Go grab some pine, son. Another strikeout for McLean. That is seven on the day. So one out, no one on for Daniel Descalso. Who is one for one with a walk. He has singled. Left-handed batter. 
Danny McLean picks up the sign from free, and here's the pitch to Des Descalso, and that is a 3-6 off the Descalso card. 3-6, pick up some sticks. He's jammed. Pop-up sky high, first base side, heading into foul territory. It's cash. He makes the catch. Two away. So two outs, and here comes the catcher. Why do they want me to pitch around him? I don't know how to get rid of that, but I don't get that. Why would you want me to pitch around the 181 guy? I get it. He singled, and then he banged into a double play. Why would you want to pitch around him to get the Pollock? Makes no sense. All right, here's the pitch to Herman for McLean looking to end the inning here. That is a 111. 111, not even a column of choice. 111 to Herman. Hard hit ball right back at McLean. He snares it, throws the cash. The side is retired. Time for trivia. Twinkle Toes replaced Babe Ruth in the Yankees outfield in 1935. Who was this player? Twinkle Toes replaced Babe Ruth in the Yankees outfield in 1935. Who was this player? Oh my God, I heard of this. So one last time for the chat. Trivia. Twinkle Toes replaced Babe Ruth in the Yankees outfield in 1935. Who was this player? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crack. Your jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root, root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. All right, one last time. Twinkle Toes replaced Babe Ruth in the Yankees outfield in 1935. Who is this player? Let's go to the chat. No one has answered. We're going to click it. I don't know. So let's find out who it is. George Selkirk. George Selkirk is the answer. Due up for the Tigers, Ray Euler, who couldn't hit his way out of a bag. And we have phone delay. Be right back.
And we are back. Thank you for your patience during phone delay. All right, leading off the bottom of the seventh is Ray Euler. Here's the pitch to Euler, who's 0 for 2. And that is a 2-2. Two -two. A 2-2 two -two off the Euler card. Oh, my God, Ray Euler. Holy schmengi with a 14. Well, that's an act of God. You'll see in a moment. As Euler splits Thomas and Pollock as they're playing in shallow, that's going to roll to the wall, and Euler winds up at three, a leadoff triple for the punch and Judy, Ray Euler. So he's at third base with no outs, infield moves in, as Randall Delgado has to be disgusted with himself to give up a triple to Ray Euler. And here comes the top of the order, Mickey Stanley 2-2 ball game. Stanley's 0 for 3, looking for the 6-1 column. Can Mickey Stanley get it done? The wind-up and the pitch from Delgado. And that is a 4-4 off the Delgado card. 4-4. Ground ball, third base to Lamb. Uh, it's going to be a check here. We rolled a 9 on a 20-sided die. It's going to be a range play, G3 number sign, so it's not a sure thing. This might knock in the run or be a hit with the infield. And we roll for an error now. And that's a 7. Oh, boy! There's an error! One, it's going to be 3 to 2 Tigers on the air by Lamb at third. Scoiling, scoring after the triple is Euler. And it is 3 to 2. Arizona's defense did them no favors on that play. Winding up at second is Stanley. He'll bring up Al Kaline, who's 0 for 1. He has walked twice. One time he put the bat on the ball, he popped out to the catcher. Three to two Tigers. Kaline with a duck out on the pond. Here's the pitch to Al Kaline, Hall of Famer. And that is a 6-4. 6 4, six, six, four. Column of choice for K-Line off the Delgado card with a 9 split. Stanley's at second. K-Line sends that ball out to left field. Thomas comes in, makes the catch. One down, retreating back to second is Stanley. He'll bring up Willie Horton. He is one for two. Singled in his last plate appearance. Struck out the prior two. Horton looking for a 3-6 column. Three to two Tigers on the unlikely triple, then error. Triple by Euler, then the error by Lamb. That's how Stanley's at second. Here's the pitch to Willie Horton. And that is a 4-10. Four, 4-10 ten. Four, ten off the Delgado card. Big insurance run out there. This play will be for the catcher, Herman. 20-sided die is a 4. We roll for error. That's a 12. There'll be no error. Let's see if Herman can make the play. Wild pitch! Gets by Herman. And Stanley advances to third now with one out. Infield moves in. Chance for Horton again to knock in a ribby 90 feet away. Horton ready to grip and rip. The windup and the pitch from Delgado. And that is a 6-6. Six, six. You get your kicks on Route 66. Column of choice for Willie Horton. Off the Delgado card. And Horton takes advantage. Sends his ball between Thomas and Pollock. Once again, that left center field gets a lot of play. It's a double, and it's 4-2. Tigers. Horton stands at second, clapping his hands as he has just knocked in a run. So one out, Delgado being roughed up here in the bottom of the seventh. And Bill Freehand comes to the plate. He is one for two. He had the two-run homer to tie the game back in the bottom of the sixth. Can he do it again? We shall see. Here's the pitch to Freehand. And that is a 3-10. 3-10. Three, ten. Three, ten. That's a pop-up. Behind the plate, Herman makes the catch. Two away. So with two outs, Horton will be off on contact. A few extra steps. Here's Norm Cash. One for three with a double. Four to two, Tigers. 
They've scored four runs in the past two innings. Delgado looks in, nods his head. Here's the pitch to Cash. Will he be a Cash cow? That is a 1-5. A 1-5 off the Cash card, though not a column of choice. Runner off on contact. 12 split. Cash with an opportunity. He lines out to a leaping Drury at second. Stranded at second is Horton. But the Tigers do score two. We go to the top of the eighth. Denny McLean and the Tigers now had the lead four to two over the 2017 Diamondbacks. Due up for the Diamondbacks, top of the order. Pollock, Peralta, and Goldschmidt. Pollock is 0 for 3. Denny McLean wants that ball. He wants to work quickly. Here's the pitch to Pollock. And that is a 3-3. What will it be? We shall see on the 3-3. We know it's a column of choice. So Pollock's going to see a good pitch to hit. 3-3. And Pollock will single. Into left field. So Pollock's on. 80% chance of stealing second. Cash holding him on. Let's see if he's going to go. Can't get the lead. Good job by McLean and Cash. And now it is David Peralta. One for two with a double. Peralta with 14 homers in 2017. Left-handed batter. McLean hoping to induce a double play ball. Here's the pitch to Peralta. And that is a 5-7. A 5-7 off the McLean card. And that is not a good column for a batter. 5-7. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Fastball lower outside corner. That is the eighth strikeout for Denny McLean. He rubs up the baseball as he awaits Gold Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt steps in the batter's box. Right-handed batter. He is 0 for 3, has struck out and grounded out twice. Pollock at first. Goldschmidt at the plate, one swing in the back to tie it up at 4. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch to Goldschmidt, and that is a 5-6. A 5-6 off the McLean card. 5-6, pick up some sticks. He's not going to pick up anything. Swing and a miss, strike 3. McLean back to the bench. Denny McLean has struck out nine now. Pollock will be off on contact at first. Cash still holding him on. Here comes a dangerous Jake Lamb, two for three. He has homered and driven in two runs. Lamb would love to take a yard once again. McLean deals to the dangerous left-handed batter. And that is a one-five. Column of choice, one-five. He's going to see a pitch to grip and rip. That's an 11. And Lamb's going to crush this McLean mistake. But that's going to stay in the ballpark. It's over Stanley's head. Reaches the wall. Pollock is going to try to go and score all the way from first. 1 through 15. He is safe. And we will cut it off. So it's going to be a 4-3 to three game. And Lamb stands at second with two outs. And that will bring up Yasmani Thomas, who is one for three with a double. Owens is behind him. Let's just see what Owens has done today. 0 for 3. But you don't want to walk the go-ahead run at first. All right, 4-3 ball game. McLean and Freehand done with their conference with Cash. Players back to their positions. They're going to pitch to Thomas. Two outs, 4-3 ball game. Tying run at second. Here's the pitch to Yasmani Thomas from Denny McLean. And that is a 3-8. 3-8. McLean hoping for it to be great. 3-8. And Freehand frames the pitch, but it's ball four. So they pitch very carefully to Thomas anyway. So two outs, two on, 3-2 ball game. Detroit, top of the eighth, and here comes the 0-3 for three shortstop, Chris Owens. Owens looking for the 1-4 column. Tying run at second, go-ahead run at first. Here's the pitch to Chris Owens. Denny McLean deals Owens a 6-6. You get your kicks on Route 66. 6-6 six, six off the McLean card. Cash ball. 
Straight three looking inside corner. Denny McLean pumps his fist. He gives up one, but we go to the bottom of the eighth. Four to three Detroit in a thriller here at Tiger Stadium. Due up for the Tigers, Northrop, McCullough, and Wirt. Diamondbacks guarding the lines. Northrop is one for three. He struck out, grounded out, and singled in his last plate appearance. He's looking for the 1-6 column. Delgado deals to Northrop, and that is a 2-4. 2-4 off the Northrop card. Not a column of choice, though. 2-4. And that will be a hard hit ball to Goldschmidt. Takes it himself. Steps on the bag. One away. Dick McCullough steps to the plate. Tigers second baseman. He was intentionally walked in his first plate appearance. Tripled with no outs, but was stranded at third. And reached on a fielder's choice. Delgado picks up the sign from Herman. Here is the pitch to McCullough. And that is a 5-9, five, 5-9. Nine, five, nine. Off the Delgado card, 5-9. One out, no one on. And McCullough will not be getting on. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two outs, base is empty. Bottom of the eighth, four to three Tigers. And here comes Don Wirt, who is grounded out, struck out, and struck out. Wirt is an A bunter. He's going to try a drag bunt here. Here's the pitch. Here's the drag bunt. Delgado fields it, fires to first, and the side is retired. So good cat-like quickness by Delgado to jump off that mound and throw out the runner. We go to the top of the ninth. Danny McLean hoping for a complete game victory. McLean so far has gone eight innings, eight hits, three walks, ten Ks, and he has given up a two-run homer. All in all, he's given up three runs. He will face the bottom third, Drury, Delscalso, and Herman. Danny McLean three outs away from his eighth victory in 13 starts. Remember, he had one no decision. This is his 13th start. In the first 12 starts, he's 7-4. and four. McLean and Tori Lavulo brings up Jeremy Hazelbaker to pinch hit. Take a look at Hazelbaker. 346 and 52 at bats, two homers and 10 ribbies. Oh boy, slugging percentage 577. And they've hit the ball pretty hard off Denny McLean. Lots of doubles and a homer. Hazelbaker looking for the 1 4 column. Danny McLean doesn't want to oblige. Here's the pitch. And that's a 4. Oh, boy, Denny McLean might serve one up. If he does, it's a tie ball game, 4-8. Off the McLean card, 4-8. He missed location. Swing and a miss, strike three. Oh, my Lord, batting practice fastball. And Hazel Baker salivating so much, spit got in his eyes. A swing and a miss. One out in the top of the ninth, and that will bring up Daniel... Descalso, who is one for two, he has walked, singled, and popped out. Tying run at the plate. And once again, Tori Lovulo, Lovulo, Lovulo excuse me, will bring up a pinch hitter. He'll be his fellow Paisan, Chris Ionetta, the catcher. Ionetta, let's take a look at Chris Ionetta. 254, 17 homers, 43 ribbies. Why would they, you know, I let the PC... Set the lineup the today. Why would you not have Ionetta catching? Whatever. PC just is so stupid. All right, here's the pitch to Ionetta looking for the 2 4 column. McLean rocks and deals to Chris Ionetta, and that is a 6 4. 6 4, not a column of choice. And that's going to be a fly ball hit out to center, Mike Stanley. A 14. Stanley racing after the ball. He has a beat on it. Will he make the catch? That's the question. We roll for the error. And that's a 9. That ball, left center field, sinking, sinking, sinking. Stanley makes the catch. A diving catch by Mickey Stanley. 
saving the day, as that would have been extra bases for Chris Ionetti. Two outs. Two outs. McLean tips his cap to his center fielder. Two outs, bases empty. empty. Four to three, Detroit. And Chris Herman comes to the plate. 181 with 10 home runs. One for three today. He has singled, grounded into a double play, and grounded out. Left-handed batter. On deck is Pollock. Denny McLean doesn't want to go there again. It's his pitch around. I don't get that. I want to. I actually would like to get a, get rid of that. Let me cancel this out. What that's put? What's this? Defensive positioning. Where do you go to the pitch around? Let's see. Not there. Okay, close that. It's his pitch around. I don't want to pitch around. I want to go right at this guy. Game. I don't know how to change that. Anyway, all right. Well, here we go. Danny McLean needs one more out to pick up his eighth win in the project. The windup and the pitch to Herman. And that is a 4-9. 4-9. Column of choice for Herman. 4-9. Fastball. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Danny McLean. Wins the ball game for the Detroit Tigers, 4-3. to three. He goes the distance and picks up his eighth win in 13 starts. He is now 8-4 and four with one no decision. Holy cow, it took us a while to get there. We had a phone delay. We had Al Dyslexia early on in the game. It was a good game, 4-3. to three. A little rusty. I kept, every time after rolling the dice, I would turn to my right because I want to write it in the book. Because I haven't done this in a while. Because I'm used to writing it in the book or doing the eye score. It's pretty funny. I'm glad I didn't have a camera on me because I look like a real idiot. Every I'm not lying. Every time I rolled the dice, I would turn to my right. Uh, it's pretty funny. Anyway, so Denny McLean wins. Let's go to the box score and make sure I bring the box score up. Bear with me a moment. And let's bring the box score up. And where's the box score? That's not the box score. There's the box score. I hate that it does that now. And let's fit this to the screen. Ever since about a month ago we had that Windows update, it, it foobarred my OBS. I had it set up exactly the way I wanted it. And I don't know how to get it back that way because there's all this stuff that I just can't delete. So there's the box score. So Denny McLean is now 8 and 4 in our Denny McLean Bob Gibson 68 challenge against the 2017 best teams, the 12 best teams I deemed. Uh, and the Tigers are 9 and 4 overall. McLean went 9 innings, 8 hits, 3 runs, all of them earned, 3 walks, struck out 12, gave up that home run to Lamb. The loser was Delgado, who went two and two thirds. I'm, uh, yeah, two and two thirds, four hits, two runs. They were both earned. Struck out two, walked none. He gave up a home run to free him. Robbie Ray went five and a third, four innings, two runs, both of them earned, four walks, four strikeouts. I'm sorry, Robbie Ray gave up the home run to freehand. So in defeat, the Diamondbacks were now 0-3. They'll have one more chance against Bob Gibson as the 2017 teams only get four games. And they're 0-3. And we moved away from Greinke, who sucked in both of his games in the first round, uh, first go-around. So we went with Robbie Ray, who pitched slightly better, I have to admit, though we only went five and a third. So Robbie Ray in the Arizona will get one more crack to get a win against the 68 Cardinals and Bob Gibson in our next game. The Diamondbacks, Pollock, one for four with a run scored. His average is now 429, though. Peralta, one for three with a run scored, batting 273 in three games. Goldschmidt, 0 for, three, 0 for four, batting 308. Lamb, three for four, three ribbies. He had the homer, scored a run. He's now batting 231. Thomas, 1 for 3, batting 400. Owens, 0 for 4, batting 308. Drury, 0 for 3, still hitless. Hazel Baker, the pinch hitter, 
batting 333, was 0 for 1, though. Del Scalso, the DH, was 1 for 2, batting 286. Ionetta, the pinch hitter, 0 for 1. His average now drops to 250. And Herman, 1 for 4. His average is 250. In the defeat, the Diamondbacks had 33 at-bats, 3 runs, 8 hits, 3 ribbies. My God, my dyslexia is horrible today. Everything I have to sit and, and concentrate so hard. Everything's flipping on me, which sucks. It's effing horrible. I don't know why today it's so bad. I'm going to take a deep breath now. <sighs> Concentrate, Al. All right, here are the <laughs> Tigers in victory. Mickey Stanley, one for four. Runs scored in a ribby, 286. Al Kaline, 0 for 2, 298 overall. Willie Horton finally broke out of his mini slump. Got his average back up to 260. Two for four, runs scored and a ribby. Bill Freehand, 1 for 3, 2 run homer, scored a run, 271 now. Norm Cash was 1 for 4, 231. Northrop struggles continue, though he did get a hit, 1 for 4, he's 208. McCullough, 1 for 3, had a triple but didn't score, 176. Dick Wirt is still hitless, 0 for 4. And Ray Euler, the surprise triple, now gets his average up and he scored a run to 118. Woohoo! Alrighty, through all that, including dyslexic moments and me trying to write stuff in the book turning to my right after every play because i'm used to writing it in the book now it was a good game four to two the tigers win once again denny mcclain's now eight and four his era is 3.27 our next game as we're going to finish off this project will be bob gibson um against the diamondbacks i believe no no, does he have the Diamondbacks? I don't know who he has. Anyhow, thank you very much to Dave Little and D. Scott Howard, Alan Shaw from Across the Pond, Ron from Retro Sports Network, and congratulations to over 200 subscribers. Check out that great channel. Also check out Dave Little. He did a game last night. Great comeback. It was a fun game. I, myself and D. Scott stuck it all out, and it was worth it. And you should never leave a game early unless you have to. Alan Shaw, once again, thank you. Dave Gardner, thank you. HockeyTournaments.com, check his channel out. Lost Knowledge, thank you very much. Check out their channel. Big Game of Thrones fan. Bobby Cantalano, my Twitter wife, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bleacher Bums Gaming, thank you very much. Check out his wonderful baseball, boxing, racing, soccer channel. Did a wonderful interview with ID Gesture. ID Gesture's not feeling well, so much love out to him, prayers and thoughts. Uh, hopefully he gets that straightened out. Larry Harris, thank you very much. Farm One, thank you. Moni G, thank you. She's a big Tigers fan. She'll be happy with the result. And, of course, the original Drognard, Devin, the OG, watched him and Todd play a wonderful military strategy game, and they had a guest host on there. Stefan came on later on to help explain the rules. And it was just a lot of fun. You know, they made me laugh and giggle, and that's that was awesome. So thank you very much. Until next time, health and happiness. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Watch out for the curveball in the dirt. I'll be back in a little bit to stream something. I don't know what. Going to battle through this dyslexia. We're having a bad dyslexia day today. You know it's coming, folks. You know it's coming. Peace!